Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I am heading to my mom and dad's house so that my dad can show us how to make his black eyed peas. So come on. This recipe can work with black eyed peas, pinto beans, lime and beans. A lot of the uh, dry beans, this recipe is the same for it. So we want to just give you an idea of how we do our black eyed peas. And it's a good dish to cook on cold days or when you got to be away from home and you come home you want the food to be already ready. So this is, this is the idea. Onion really and the celery is what really season. A 16 ounce bag of black eyed peas. It, can, it, it don't have to be a name brand, just be a 16 ounce bag of black eyed peas. Spread them through your hands because sometimes when you, when you Cooking or washing or preparing black eyed peas or pinto bean that's sometimes or many times little things in there that you don't want in your pot. And this is a time for you to catch those things or find those things and take them out. Now, the next thing we want to do, we want to fill the bowl with water. We're going to just kind of like spray it through a little bit. We'll put the cooking pan over, the cooking pot over that we're going to cook the peas in. Which is a slow cooker. Uh, you might even see a crock pot different than the same pot. So we want to put our beans a piece into this pot. This is about one of the most simple meals that you can prepare because actually it, it cooks itself. You can wash the turkey necks to do it, smoke turkey neck, and we lay them into the beans or the peas. Into the peas. The next thing we do is we spread the celery or the onions. It don't make no difference which one first. We kind of like spread them around in the pot. So it's a, a good thing to cook your beans in because they really do a good, good job of seasoning the bean. They get into the juice of it so you feel like you want to just take a spoon and eat the juice as well as the beans. So we want to spread the onions the same way. Just spread them all through the beans. And the turkey neck. Season all. And just sprinkle it around just like we did everything else. Eight cups of water. To, 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 to limit your cooking time, you want to use warm water if you're going to get it from the sink. You want to use warm water. And we plug it in. And we make sure that the cooker is on high. It could take seven hours. For the slow cooker to cook this and cook it right because we want this to cook the onion, the celery, the bean, the turkey neck all into a one good tasting. Mm -hmm. So the onion might cook to the point they look like you don't have many in there, the celery, because sometimes they cook away in the juice. But this is it. Your dinner is ready. All you have to do is wait 
Uh, you can leave the house, you can go shopping, you can do whatever you want to do. If you wasn't a part-time job, you can do it before you can leave and when you come back your food is ready. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that uh, you might want to fix some cornbread or some cornbread muffin. Mm -hmm. The turkey necks will give you your meat. So you can come in and just get a bowl of it with turkey necks in it and, and a cornbread muffin in you. So we didn't we didn't have no luxury. We the best we could do was stick it on a stick and hold it in the fireplace, cook it right quick. <laughs> Had to do things when we got out of school, such thing as cut wood and uh for the uh for the stove, for the mother to cook on the stove and cut wood for the fireplace to heat the house and everything. And uh, many people had uh, a wooden stove that they kept warm with, uh, the old pot belly stove they call them, and they cooked right on the top of it. They set a pot of beans right on the top of it. They were killing two birds with the same rock because they were heating the house with it. Also, they were cooking with it. Mm -hmm. uh, that, no, that, no, they didn't put cornbread inside of it, but they show you the old skillet, fill it with cornbread, and every so often you had to turn it over, but uh, it was better than what you cook in the oven today. Mm. So I wouldn't give anything for those times in life uh, the way we were brought up. I wish we could bring my kid, grandkids and great grandkids up a couple of days here and a couple of days there back in those days. Mm. Uh, it's a lot of different in the days. Day, you know, but when we were growing up and we was kids, uh, we sat at the table. It was eight of us, and when we sat down at the table to eat, you ate what was sitting in the front of you. You didn't complain about I don't eat this. Uh, that you know, if you said I don't eat this, you better be in a a, a running position and and prepared it to not go to bed early. <laughs> So, so uh, uh, we ate whatever was given us because we know that the, that the parents was not going to give you anything that was bad for you. You might have something that wasn't your favorite or that you didn't like as well, but if you did, you kept it under your hat and just ate, you know. Uh, the other thing is the, 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 the water in the crock pot. Sometimes the food swell, especially beans, once they get in there and set for a while, that bean swells up and it looked like you got more in there. Somebody pulled some more in there sometimes. Mm -hmm. But that's beans for you. Uh, dry beans do that. And it, sometimes if you're not keeping an eye on them, you don't have enough water in the pot. So I've learned that if you don't have enough water in the pot to, to take a microwave uh, a cup and put your fill it with water and put water in the microwave and let it at least come to a boil and then pour it into the 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 crock pot and that don't delay heating up time again so your time of cooking would remain the same also if you drop a frozen meat in there many people like to take their meat out wash it off and drop it right in the crock pot when you do that the time, cooking time change because it take a while for that frozen meat to sort out and be starting to cooking. Mm -hmm. So so that is something that, that 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 you need to know too and keep an eye on that part, you know. It turns a brownish color. That's when you know everything should be ready. When it turns a brownish color, the meat turns like a, a brownish cup, almost look like barbecue. So that's when you want to grab a bowl and come over. Take you, and you definitely want to get the juice because if you're using cornbread, mm -hmm. it go good with the juice in it. And just come over and take yourself some beans, some meat. One hunk of cornbread to go with it. Are you ready for dinner? So uh, we, we, just, we just hope that you get the things that you need to get out of this and that you would continue to, to, to uh, stay tuned to this program or this show. Uh, we most certainly would try to bring some other things uh, to you in the, in the weeks to come.
thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're gonna try this recipe. I cannot wait to get in my kitchen and make some cornbread to go with those peas. I appreciate you for being here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know if you are gonna make um, black eyed peas. Let me know how yours turn out. Um, and I'm sure you're gonna love them too. They are just absolutely packed with flavor. Again, thank you so much for watching. I am grateful that you are here and I am praying for you. And I'll see you soon.